Welcome to Parexcel's Clinical Unit in London, UK, one of Parexcel's global network of clinics for the conduct of early phase trials in healthy volunteers and patient populations. We're here at Northwick Park Hospital on the Metropolitan Line of the London Underground, where we've had a unit for nearly 20 years. As we are currently operating during the COVID-19 pandemic, you'll see firsthand some of the adjustments made to protect our volunteers and staff. Here in the verification area, volunteers arrive for their screening appointment. During the pandemic, we're temperature testing volunteers on arrival and COVID-19 screening questions are asked. ID is provided by volunteers so that we can verify their identity and check that they're not linked to another active trial. Volunteers are photographed for future ID verification and provided with a barcoded wristband. This room is currently utilized for COVID-19 testing. All volunteers are tested for COVID-19. The testing and analyses are done on site. We have two types of COVID-19 tests, both of which can be performed at screening and admissions. The antibody test, which has an incubation period of just 15 minutes, and the PCR test. Only volunteers or patients with a negative test result for COVID-19 are permitted into the main area of the unit. All areas of the unit are protected by access controlled doors. In the consenting area, volunteers will go through the informed consent materials with a screening physician. Once signed, the informed consent is uploaded to ClinBase, RxL's electronic data entry information system. In the screening ward, we've modified the layout to accommodate COVID distancing measures. Each couch has the ClinBase data entry system, a unique bed number and an emergency response alarm. Volunteers have their screening assessments performed in this area, such as vital signs ECG and blood draws. Height and weight tests are performed. A urine sample will usually be collected within the bathrooms where there are toilets with a nurse call alarm system. Upon arrival for a study, after entering the unit through Parexcel's private entrance within the hospital grounds, volunteers are temperature checked again and asked COVID-19 screening questions. The air conditioning system within the unit has been re-engineered as part of our extensive COVID-19 risk mitigation measures. All air is filtered and we have reset the system to allow the highest possible amount of fresh external air to enter the unit. Air is not recirculated within the unit to help reduce particles in the atmosphere. The cleaning team have been trained to the highest standard, level 3, to ensure that our cleaning regime matches that of the most sterile areas within the hospital, such as ICU. The nurses station is central to the unit. There are screens for telemetry monitoring and to show all the upcoming procedures required by the protocol. These are connected to the ClinBase system and are sequentially ordered. Colour coding helps alert staff to scheduled and imminent assessments. Another screen alerts the nursing team to the location of any active nurse call alarms. In all areas of the units, there are atomic clocks which are synced with the ClinBase system. In case of emergency, there is a red telephone that connects directly to the hospital's emergency teams. The emergency equipment is set up according to the UK's resuscitation guidelines and with the hospital team's input. The defibrillator, suction equipment and anaphylactic response kits are tested daily. There are also emergency equipment grab bags available in the unit, which can be used in tight spaces or during evacuation. The clinical team and medics in London receive immediate life support training once a year. The medics are additionally trained in advanced life support training every four years. There are three 10-bedded wards within this unit and one ward with seven beds. Each ward is set up in a very similar way. Outside of each ward is a metal box that allows the clinical team to manage the water and lighting supplied to the ward. Inside the ward, each bed is identified by a unique number, has a bedside light, bed headers, a nurse call alarm and a ClinBase data entry station. The bed is height adjustable and can lift and tilt. Each one of the wards has an oxygen container and a telephone on the wall for quick communication. Each ward has a screen for telemetry tracing. Adjustments have been made for studies performed during the pandemic. 
This includes plastic screens between beds that are regularly cleaned, plastic protection to the bed, and hand sanitizer stations that are readily available throughout the unit. There are a number of toilet and shower facilities in the unit. They are access controlled for management of urine and faecal collections that may be needed. All the showers and toilets have nurse call alarms and feature easy access in case of emergency. A strict and regular cleaning regime is always in operation. There are two respiratory chambers here in the London unit. The respiratory chamber has two challenge chambers, both fitted with a nurse call alarm. A curtain allows for blinded dosing. A lighting system and screens outside the door are used to prevent accidental entry during procedures. There are four Faraday cage cubicles within the unit where we can perform EEG assessments. When the EEG assessment takes place, the nurse call alarm is removed and the blind will be opened to allow direct observation. Each of these cubicles has a fully adjustable bed that can be used for dosing. During the pandemic, these cubicles can be used as private ward spaces to segregate volunteers or use for vulnerable populations. Here is our GCLP accredited laboratory. Samples are brought to the laboratory by the clinical team for processing, short-term storage and shipping. The proximity of the clinical wards to the laboratory allows samples to be processed within minutes. To ensure the samples are processed as per protocol, each sample type is assigned to one of our 12 centrifuges. We can test for drugs of abuse and perform urinalysis. Additional laboratory areas within the unit provide homes for our long-term freezers, aseptic processing suite with biosafety cabinet, humified incubators and our COVID-19 PCR testing equipment. Our on-site pharmacy holds a GMP license and controlled drug license. Entry is restricted to pharmacy staff only with secure keycard entry and drug storage is further secured with a key-coded lockbox. The pharmacy has two separate clean room suites and temperature-controlled IMP storage that is electronically monitored by the Reese monitoring system. There is a kitchen on site for volunteer meal preparation. Our menus are analysed by a qualified dietitian to comply with the UK Department of Health dietary reference values. Volunteers have a lounge and a dining room for when they're not required to be on the ward. We provide all kinds of entertainment here, such as computer games, newspapers, satellite television, a pool table, table tennis and lots of board games. During the pandemic, volunteers can only use this space once they have been confirmed COVID negative following the PCR test and they must wear a mask in these social areas. And finally, here we are back in the reception and security area, where there are screens for the surveillance of CCTV and the Reese monitoring system, which is used to manage the humidity and temperature. We haven't been able to show you absolutely everything here at the Parexcel London unit, so we hope you'll be able to come and visit us in person soon.